Yeah. Oh, are we winning you over? Oh, it's your beautiful girl. Oh, that's beautiful. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. <laughs> she loves this chicken. Cool. Good girl. What got you so fascinated in getting photos of probably the most difficult subjects in the world? Oh, you see, I don't think they are the most difficult subjects in the world. Um, I, I just love working with animals, and uh, it's just something that I, th I think sort of comes naturally, really. But uh, I got started, like a, a lot of other people, just by photographing my own pets. And uh, my muse, if you like, King Willie, he's back in Brisbane, so he's not down here to say hello. Uh, but um, he was uh, my first cat, and um, uh, I just got hooked on photographing him and he's got so much personality and um, when we're seeing the personality coming out in the photos that's what got me hooked and uh, I just thought yeah I really enjoy doing this and that's how it all started just photographing my own pets. Good girl. There we go. Are you a good girl? Good girl. That's pretty. That's pretty. You make it uh, look very easy. I've been watching you in action as well, and uh, I know it's not easy. I mean, I try and take photos of my pets, and they don't look anything like yours. <laughs> Have you got any little tips you could give to people um, when they are trying to get a, a photo at home or when they're out with their dog or cat? Or the, the most important thing is to make it a fun game for um, the pet you're trying to photograph. So if it's your puppy dog, you want to find things that your, your pup's really interested in. So when we're photographing Nadia, she loves chicken, so we use chicken. <laughs> she loves balls, so we use balls. And was keeping her motivated. She didn't really even notice that a photo was being taken. She was just playing a game. And that's how we get our photos, making it an interactive and fun experience. Good girl. Good girl. That's pretty. 